so honorable said, I don't want you to direct the witness on what to say or not, 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 not what to say. And please avoid, avoid please exchanging with the chair, my knowledge Linda. Let us, let us, just give me time to, to manage this process. This is not, this is not uh, the issue of which side or what, please. I beg you. Three, three. Let me have the other, the other council. Mr. Speaker, sir, if you may allow me, as the lead council, we, the, the defense still has more, six more witnesses. The rest of the witnesses, time has been allocated 15 minutes each. We will sacrifice one witness, we will not cross-examine him, and then we allocate that time to this witness, the 15 minutes. We will not cross-examine one of the MCAs, so that we are able to do justice to this case through this witness. That's, that's the compromise we shall make. Can you, can you give me the name of the member of county assembly that you want to see in the 15 minutes for the court purposes? Mr. Speaker, sir, in place of Thomas Obare Nyabaro, we will not cross-examine that witness We'll equally not cross-examine Amos Obegi Oderi. So we'll have 30 minutes extra for this witness. We shall allocate 15 minutes to this one and 15 minutes to the deputy governor. Post trading. Yes, I'll give you 15 minutes for the first one. For Thomas, I'll place 15 minutes. Strictly 15 minutes cancel. We are most obliged. No addition, no subtraction. It's good horse trading. Maybe you can use less, but you can't use more than 15 minutes. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. You notice that this is a key witness that needs to be thoroughly cross-examined. Mr. Misati. Yes, Mr. Speaker, sir. You have confirmed that your son with your driver is mostly with you when you are running your errands, correct? Running my what? Errands, when you are going about your businesses, is the one who is close to you, is the one who is at home, is your driver, correct? Yes, Mr. Speaker, sir. Why was it then important for you to send money to Dennis, who is not that close to you, than use your own driver who had a car to go and withdraw that money and bring back? Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, because the Deputy Governor, His Excellency, Dr. Robert Munda, in our discussion, he said that he needs some cash instead of going to M-Pesa. That is the time I decided that I were, the money was to remit it to a younger person who will be able to run quickly to the... M Mr. Witness, could your son run faster than your car that is being driven by your own son? But Mr. Is that Speaker, what you're telling these senators? Mr. Speaker, That sir. indeed Dennis was capable of running faster than a driver with a car. Mr. Speaker, sir, that is, as, that is, as we have said that I've, I've used Charit Misati to pay my driver, and that's indicating it's the most trusted to me, in terms of management, I wanted also to show my son, Dennis Misati, that I love him through sending that man to also act on that. Thank you, that has been noted. Uh, you have also claimed at paragraph 24, Honorable Senators appearing at page 61, that the amount of money that you sent to Dr. Monda was part of the 600,000 that he had lent you, correct? At paragraph but, 24. But, pardon? You have alleged at paragraph 24 that previously you had received 600,000 from Dr. Monda. Correct? That's in January. That's in January. Yes. And you're claiming that part of that money went to pay school fees for Dennis's child, correct? Among other expenses. 
how much money did you spend as school fees to the child of Dennis Okaya? Miss Speaker, sir. How much money did okay. you? It's, 60, it's a very straightforward. 60,000 shillings. 60,000 shillings. Yeah. And you confirm that it is you who paid that amount directly from I, your own affidavit? No. That please. is what you state. Can you read that paragraph again? The last sentence, please, and save our time. The amounts were partly proceed from there. 24. The amounts were partly used to help my son, Dennis, and the special fees proceed. Uh, fees for his child that I personally paid. Thank you. You personally paid that amount, isn't it? Correct. Which account did you pay to? What was the mode of payment? And you have evidence of payment of that amount. Here, Mr. Speaker, sir, payment, it looks um, relative. It's only that uh, the money originated from me and uh, Mr. I gave... Mr. Mr. Misati, I only have 15 minutes and I want to utilize that very effectively. I am asking you a very specific question. To what account did you pay? The school's account, what mode and where is the evidence? It's a, it's a very straightforward, please do not bring stories. We do not have time for that. The, the money of the 60,000 plus other, other monies which no, I no, paid no. for my... No, no, no. We are specific on the 60,000 paid personally by you to the school. The, the money of 60,000 paid to pay school fees of my granddaughter, I gave it to one of my sons, including other money to one to pay the account. Mr. Misati, you've just read to us paragraph 24 that you personally paid. Isn't that what you read? The On payment. oath. Mr. Speaker, sir. No, no, no. Kindly save our time, Mr. Misati. Isn't that what you read? That that's you personally paid 60,000? Pers personally paid? The, that's, it's very relevant to what so, Mr. Speaker, sir. But not to indicate where I put the money. I gave the money, and the, my son took it to the bank, thank including you, other you. Thank you. I, I urge the house to take note of the conduct of the witness and allow me to proceed. What is the name of your granddaughter? Zelda Kwamboka Mukaya. How old is she? She's, I think, 13 years. Where is she currently? It's me who took her to send. Where is she currently? Currently now. Yes. I cannot tell because when it, my son disappeared, I don't know where they went. But what the previously it is me who took her to Nyaburu. Thank you. I yield the rest of the minutes to my learned friend, Mr. Njiro. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mutuma. Mr. Witness, I want you to have a look at the bundle of the document by the county assembly. Honorable Senators, I'm referring to page um, 184. Witness, I have seven minutes to deliver this. These are Hansons for the 29th of August from the County Assembly. Mm -hmm. Mr. Witness, I want you to have a look at the last paragraph where Honorable Deputy Governor is answering. But before I go to that, excuse me, I have not put the question. Well, when, the when the Deputy Governor asked you to refund the 500,000 shillings, what did he tell you the money was meant for? Baron? When he asked you to return the 500,000 shillings he, he had led you, what did he tell you was meant for? Mr. Speaker, sir, he told me that he has got some functions he was to use for that. He, and he, he had functions. Him. Which functions in particular? And including that he was trying to go outside of the country. He was going out of the country. Correct. So the money was specifically meant to go out, out of the country, yes? Among other things. Among other things. Yeah. Are those other things that you're referring to, the issues that you are discussing to, and more specifically, the forwarding of the money, 100,000 shillings to one Lucy? Are you aware or you're not aware? That one I'm not aware. You are not aware. I want you to have a look at page, page 185, 189 of the same bundle. And the deputy governor traveled. Are you aware whether he traveled? He never traveled? 
You know, Mr. are you aware or you're not aware? I'm not aware. Of Thank you. Yes. Uh, look at page 189 of the same bundle, honorable members. The bundle by the county assembly, volume one. Page 185, 189, I'm sorry, beg your pardon. 189, the hand sons for the 29th. What? Hand sons. Yeah. Who made the request for assistance? Who made the request? Of assistance of what? Yes, of you to be assisted for Dennis to uh, um, secure a job. It's me, Mr. Speaker, sir. Whom, to whom did you make it to? Did you make it to your friend, Dr. Monda, or to the Deputy Governor of Kisi County? My friend, Dr. Monda. Where was that job supposed to come from? From his farm, from his shop, or from the county government? Mr. Speaker, sir. I have asked you two issues. Where was the job supposed to come from? From the county government. Thank you. Look at paragraph where we have the Honorable Deputy Governor. Yes, can you see that? Here? Yeah. Yes. Yes, would you read out? What's the Deputy Governor saying? Honorable Deputy Governor. Can you see where he's saying, Mr. Speaker, sir? Mr. Mr. Speaker, Sp just Mr. as a good friend, yes? Mr. Speaker, sir, as a great, a great friends, as great friends, Mr. Joseph and I, somewhere in April 1st, was made to know that there is advert that has come up in the Wasco and, and Misati as a friend could ask me that his son has also tendered his application. Thank you. Yeah. In this respect, which son is the deputy governor making reference to? Dennis. Dennis. Proceed. Can you see where my senior Mr. Kato Kigen is saying, so he requested if you could assist. Can you see? Yes, Mr. Speaker, sir. And what does the governor say? Does he say yes? that you made the request? Can you see that? Yes, Mr. Speaker. Sir. Proceed to read. And did you talk to Lucy about the request about your friend? That's, a that's Mr. Carter Quigan asking the Deputy Governor, yes? Baron? That is the, my land uh, friend, Mr. Carter Quigan, asking the Deputy Governor whether the Deputy Governor spoke to Lucy. Can you see that? Yes, Mr. Speaker, sir. And what was his answer? Uh, Honorable Deputy Governor, like any other leader, Mr. Speaker, sir, this request came came to me. Everyone, honorable members, know that Lucy is a Wasco, would work under like any. Yes. Next page. Lucy Next. would work. Where is it? It's possible for you not okay. to see now. Like any, any other staff who under the government's, the governor's office, where I'm also the deputy governor. So he acknowledges that Lucy works under the deputy, under the governor's office and that Mr. Monda is also under the same office, yes? That's the acknowledgement, yes or no? As it is. Thank you, proceed. Read to the governor and so indicated to Lucy. So I indicated to Lucy, yes, asking her if they had such kind of jobs, and she said yes. And as a friend, making a request that he get his sons a job, like every one of us here would do. And she told me, um, let us wait for the process. If he qualifies, we shall not deny him a job. Yes, is that the discussion? 
According to this, yes. Are you aware that Luce, uh, the deputy governor, your dear friend whom you've come to defend this morning, sent 100,000 shillings to Lucy? Are you aware or you're not aware? I'm not aware. Would it therefore surprise you that part of the money that you sent to him that day was shared with one Lucy? I would wouldn't surprise you? I wouldn't be surprised. You would not be surprised. Yeah. Thank you. Have a look at your affidavit. The affidavit appearing, that is the deputy governor's bundle of document. The deputy governor's bundle of document at page 60. Mr. Witness, are you there? Yes, Mr. Speaker. Have sir. a look at paragraph 12 and kindly read it out. And then I asked my wife to remit the balance of 249. I instructed her to remit the amount to my son, Dennis Misati, for him to pay Thank you. We. That is what I want us to explain. For him to do what? To pay. What was he paying? The refund. No, excuse me. It says to refund or to pay. Do you understand English, Mr. Witness? English is for the lawyers. Thank you. Yeah. You are now, I'll now teach you. <laughs> and therefore, order senators, order, order senators. I'll put it to you that there's a difference order. between the statement to pay and to refund. Yes? And therefore, because you have preserved the English for us lawyers, I'll put it to you that the two words have different meanings. Yes? It is very difficult for me to understand. I therefore put it to you that paying is different from refunding. According to you, yes. And therefore, I further put it to you that the word payment being used here is the corruption and the bribery for your son to succeed with a job, yes? Payment is not a bribe. It will depend on con which context it is. In this context now, thank you. That's wrong. Let us have a look at page, page 111, of the, again of the same battle by DG, page 111, which is a statement by Lea Nyachera Onsari. Yes. A statement from Cooperative Bank, yes? Correct. You are the one who has brought this document, correct? That's it. No. It's not you who has brought the document. It's not, no, not me who brought this uh, statement. Where did it come from? It came from uh, Lea Onzare. Is she a witness in these proceedings? That one I'm not aware. I put it to you that she is not a witness. You have said so. But now, Mr. Witness, who sent this money to Lea? It's me and my wife from the joint account. Upon whose request? Upon the deputy governor's request. So the deputy governor asked you to send the 200,000 shillings, yes? Correct. Did you ask him what it was meant for? That was his personal use. So if I put it to you that your deputy governor for whom, for whom you so love is a person who has in, in such a bold desire for resources, and that is why he's always in a begging mood, what would you say? <laughs> Mr. Zika, sir, this, that is very untrue. Thank you. No further questions. Yeah, uh, council, you are for the deputy.